Hello, fans of the Switchfoot Clan. This is Peyton coming at you with another The Word Tuesday episode. Uh, shout out to Soccer Girls 98 who gave us these words. Um, the words are soccer, slap, and fall. Going to be a good story. I think I can actually do a true story with this if, if I try my hardest. And if you stuck with this this far, you know that I have not done one yet. And this story may actually turn out to be true. Basically, the word is is you send in three words as a subscriber to us and we will i will try and make a story out of it off the top of my head every tuesday so uh let's just dig into it so i was at a camp named crossings at the creek one of my church camps it was the eighth grade i think it was a little while back eighth grade and um i was there just having uh the time of my life playing the games but one of the main games that we had was field games, and field games is soccer, kickball, whatever you want, and I was fine at kickball. I was, I'm, I'm decent at some sports. I'm not the best. I'm not very good at many sports. Kickball, I'm good at, so we, we played kickball a couple of days, and I was pretty good. I was rolling in with the, the, far, the far shots. I was kicking them far out to the outfield, but little did I know, I was not good at soccer, so... Two days later, it's getting it's midway through the camp season. We decide we're done with kickball for the week. Let's do soccer. So never had I ever played soccer except for when I was four years old and I warmed the bench and I ate the little kids' snacks. So never, never was I ever good at soccer. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to try and I'm going to play some soccer. So... I went out on the field. My camp counselor's name was Quentin and Austin. They were my counselors, and I was there with Matt, Carson, and Nathan. We had, we were sort of friends, but we weren't the best of friends yet. Now we are a clan. But anyways, so first kick comes by me. Slap. I fall to the ground instantly. And I'm just, I'm down on the ground, and I say, maybe this is not the sport for me. Maybe I should not try to continue doing soccer. It's obviously not my forte. I mean, I'm, I'm, played baseball I've, I've, I've swam I've, I've run but soccer is just not it for me so I said you know what I'm not going to give up when I get home I really want to play soccer because I think that this could be a fun sport to play when I grow up so I kept playing throughout the week and I was doing okay but I was having this inner struggle whether or not to play when I got home so Quentin one of my camp counselor no Austin one of my camp Austin my camp counselor told me you know what I would stick with soccer it's a good thing to keep at you would, you're really going to have a good time playing this back home. Uh, don't give up. You can, you can do it. And it, it really inspired me. I, I came home and I decided I, I really want to play this sport of soccer. But my mom said, you're not going to play soccer. Do you really want to play that? I mean, most people at your age are good. And I said, look, a couple of the people I met here just started last year and they're already good in their league. So I was having this argument with my mom to let me play. And she said, no, no, she was fighting at it. And my dad was saying, come on, it's, I mean, it's just another sport. Or do you really want to? So what I decided is I'll wait. I'll wait till I'm in college, and I'll do it as an intramural sport. I will get to play it with friends in college, and I will get to play it at, just for fun. Not as a league, but just for fun at my age now. So I, I just I decided it's, it's going to be a fun sport. It's not going to be a competitive sport. I'm going to not let this sport take over me. So now I just play with friends. We play every time. We get together at uh, church groups and whatever. whenever I get together with a bunch of people, we can go play soccer and have fun. So soccer's a great sport. Be sure to check it out. Thank you for sticking with me for the word. First true story. I'm very excited. And uh, come back next week. Bye-bye.